Hello and welcome to the fourth episode of Ensembleisms. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to integrate your Ensemble productions with Twitter. Now, I'm not going to go too much into what Twitter is here in this screencast, but keeping it short, uh, Twitter sends 140 character status updates and broadcasts these updates to many network and socially network connected devices. I don't really have a good use case for it here, but we're going to give it a shot in this screencast. For now, though, I want to show you the class that I wrote that integrates with uh, Twitter. It um, basically here, this is, uh, you know, I say it's a utility. This is basically one method that I have completed here, though. But what you want to, what I want you to pay attention to is that this is a REST interface, and we are going to be setting up a request object here, and I'm showing you how we also deal with the credentials that are stored uh, within a uh, ensemble production. I'm also showing you here how to set the different parameters to an HTTP object. And here is the actual post. This is the, the post that does all the magic to um, post the status update to Twitter. This here is copying the response stream into an XML document. So this kind of shows you a little bit on how to use XPath. And I'll get down into that here in a couple of lines. But uh, once I have an XML document, I can uh, read it in and evaluate the expressions of XPath to grab certain node values out of that. So this is a basic REST operation. Uh, this is a create operation and basically I'm posting an XML document to Twitter and I am receiving a response back. Now what I do here is I do a little bit of cheating. If I do not receive the response back that I sent, which is in the Twitter API, then it is a failure and I respond back with a negative status. So I've put this particular class up on GitHub. Uh, you can grab it. I put it under the code name of Twache. Uh, so you can grab it. I'm going to build in all the rest of the APIs to this particular class. All right, so how are we going to use it? Here we have a production, a simple production. This is what gets created when you um, build an HL7 messaging production. What we're going to do first is we are going to build in the credentials. Now the credentials here are what the login is to my Twitter account on Twitter. So I'm going to call this I'm an ID of Twitter. My username is Ensembleisms and it should mask my password. Now this is kind of the whole idea behind credentials here is that it's typically a bad coding practice to put username and passwords inside code and this is Cache's way or Ensembleisms way of putting credentials outside of of your code so they can be used without um, you know littering them through the code. Here is a business operation that's going to take advantage of the Twitter class that I showed you. This is a an outbound HTTP adapter. It could be a generic one as well, but has one method in it that returns a type of a status. The method is tweet this. It I had to do my message map at the bottom to tweet this and you show he, I show you here how I'm instantiating the class that we have the the Twitter class and running the method send tweet I'm sending the Twitter that's the name of the credentials set that I have inside of ensemble that I just created and my P request is actually uh, an alert object that comes in so an alert object has a couple of things attached to it one is the source config name and the alert text so I'm going to use both of these values to post to Twitter so I've compiled it, and I will go back out to the SMP, and I need to do a couple things. First of all, let's add the business operation we just created, and that was the um, Twitter operation. Let's type other, hello, other, there we go. It's the class I created was Ensembleisms. Episode 4 Twitter operation, give it a name, we'll just call it Twitter. Uh, this is miscellaneous if not, and uh, just give it a comment if you care. So, and that'll add that to our production. So once that's in our production, there you see it down on the bottom, I'm going to add it as a target to any ENS alert that leaves the production. And how you do this is, is you edit the rule set inside the alert rule, and you give it a target. And the target I'm going to create is that operation that we had just created. All good, we'll save that. Go back to our map and see if we've connected the dots. All 
and we have so here's an ENS alert we'll send to our Twitter business operation all right so I'm gonna start the production let's test it uh, everything start correctly and it does so everything started up correctly and now I need to throw some sort of of an alert now what can I do here to throw an alert I know that see my event log if I have anything in there I don't have any alerts thus far let me check to make sure I have alerts enabled there they are so I can see them in the log so I need to go back and I create an alert of some kind how we can do this is in the file service I know that I get an alert when the file path is wrong so let's go down into the HL7 file service and see where the file path and I will change it to and I do this a lot and as I flip through systems I will change that to forward slash temp hit apply oh yep there it goes it just created an alert we'll go check the log and see if the alerts there it is see the directory name temp is invalid for the alert now if everything went right that should have sent a tweet out to Twitter telling us that the source HL7 file service is having an issue and post that to the site so let's go out to twitter.com and there it is there is our tweet that was sent from our inner systems production so that's really not amazing there isn't a whole you know I don't have a whole lot of use cases for this besides the fact that it was pretty fun but it, it did show how to use rest and a lot of different social networks use rest uh, here is another utility that will show um, somewhat the power of Twitter and in in all those alerts as I pull up TweetDeck you can see that anybody who is following that particular ensembles user would have gotten that alert and there you can see it up on the top so again not too amazing very fun and uh, I will be expanding upon that library at a later date This screencast was born at the garage. West Michigan Coworking brought to you by Elevator Up. Come out and co-work with us.